Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be going through some of the eyeshadow looks that I did while I was out on maternity leave. I didn't do my eyeshadow a lot, and I definitely didn't do any filming, but I did do some eyeshadow looks and I took videos or pictures to share them with you guys. If you're interested in seeing that, stick around. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rachel. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom. I just had a baby, she's super cute. She might appear in this video. Right now she's napping right there, so we'll see. I love to play with colorful eyeshadow and I upload videos every week. They're all eyeshadow related. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, you're in the right spot. I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Now let's get rolling with these looks. Okay, I have numbered these looks. If you guys are interested in having me recreate any of them for a video, just let me know in the comments below. I'm not gonna recreate all of them. Some of them are definitely more exciting than others, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the uh, the eyeshadow that I was doing while I wasn't filming. And you know, while I was enjoying time with my mother-in-law and my new baby, but I still made sure to take a little bit of time to play with color here and there. So let's go into this. In the first look, I used the Pistachio Palette from BH Cosmetics and Plain Jane from Adept Cosmetics. In my waterline, I used the Creme Gel Liner from ColourPop in the shade Canopy. And then on my lips, I used the Glowing Lip from ColourPop with the color Mid-Century. I loved, oh my goodness, the sparkle in this look. And that is completely due to the Plain Jane Palette. The shimmers in the Pistachio Palette are good. BH Cosmetics has a nice shimmer formula, but the shimmers in Adept were just whole new levels, something special. Just look at the reflect and the, the way that the shimmers catch the light. So, so beautiful. Pairing it with Plain Jane was just a winner across the board. <laughs> In look number two, I used the BH Cosmetics Summer in Saint-Tropez palette. I paired it with the Desert Aura Glowing Lip from ColourPop on my lips and the Extra Frosting Creme Gel Liner in my waterline. I really love the tones of this look and the contrast. Sunset looks are always going to be a winner, especially for me if they go like quite light to pretty deep or dark. I definitely could have added more depth to this look, but I stayed within the palette, so I didn't I didn't have tons of options for really dark mattes, but these tones are so lovely. Like the orangey, reddish, yellow shadows are always going to be a good combination. In look number three, you can see I used the Star Wars palette from ColourPop. I just did a black and white waterline because the whole look was kind of black, white, smoky sort of thing. And on my lips, I'm wearing Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Oil in the color Showering Sunset. I think that this look is pretty. It's not super duper exciting, but the palette's really, really nice. There's one shade in it called Kessel Run, which is a silver shimmer, which is fantastic. It's probably the best silver shimmer I've got in my collection. It's really beautiful. In this look, you can see it on my inner corner and my lower lash line. So pretty, so pretty. Look number four, I used the Somone 2 palette from Udenzai, the Hella palette also from Udenzai, and I used the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay. This was a fun combination. I often just like to pull random palettes from my collection and make them work together. It is one of the most interesting and challenging ways to create an eye look. I often end up loving the looks that come together when I just grab random palettes from my collection and make them work. So for this look, I used mainly the Wilderness and Solmone palettes, but then I grabbed the shade Rebirth from Hella as an inner corner highlight, which is a great inner corner highlight. It's just the right tone, just the right amount of lightness, but not too pastel or sheer. And as you can see, of course, I got great shine and pigmentation from both palettes. Love the shimmer on the lid. On my lips, I'm wearing the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Sorbet, and in my waterline, I simply used ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the color Fluffy, which is a light pink. Look number five is probably my least favorite out of all of these 10. I used the Midnight Palette from Beauty Bay, which is a great palette. And I was careful before purchasing it because I wanted to make sure that I was buying tones which worked for me. It just wasn't the most exciting application perhaps of these colors, but it was fun to do a simple smoky blue kind of look. I used white in the waterline and I just have to be careful with these sorts of shadows that I use tones which work well for my skin undertones. If you're interested in seeing examples of that or hearing more about it, I did make a video which I can card above talking about skin undertones and why some things work better than others. If you're interested, you can check out that video, but I definitely recommend that somewhere or somehow you find out what your skin undertones are and do some experimentation to see what shadows and colors work with your skin. And that's not just makeup, but it's clothes and hair dye Everything that touches your body will work with or fight against your skin undertones. And not only is it useful to find out what your undertones are, it's also really fun. In look number six, I used the Whistler Snow Lodge palette from Nomad Cosmetics. And I think I used the shade Aglow from ColourPop's Creme Gel Liners on my waterline. It's a little hard to tell from the video, but that's what I think I used. I love the soft green tones of this palette. When I think about the Whistler Snow Lodge palette, I think of the blue and white tones. I forget about the greens, but I think the greens might actually be my favorite tones in this palette because they're just very soft 
and muted but still quite flattering sort of sagey tones you know and then the bright inner corner highlight and lower lash line really pop in such a nice flattering way Look number seven was lots of fun. This was the first time I tried the Palettopoly palette from Ace Beauté. I really, really liked this look and every shade I used in the palette, I can't wait to dip into it more. For this look, I used the entire green row, which is four shadows, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. And then at the bottom is a deep grungy green brown. So I used that one as well. On my waterline, I'm wearing the ColourPop Creme Gel liners, Extra Frosting and Canopy. And on my lips, I'm wearing the ColourPop Glowing Lip in the color uh, mid-century. Sorry, brain fart. <laughs> I just love the limey green and yellow shades of these colors. So pretty, it performs beautifully. Again, I can't wait to play more with the palette and see what else it can do. I'm probably going to be doing a week of Palettopoly because if you guys didn't see on my community tab, I put up a poll asking which palette you would like to see for the next week of series. And the last time I checked, Palettopoly was winning. So if you're interested in casting your votes to change or encourage that outcome, make sure to check my community tab. I think it's like three or four posts back because I did share a couple of sales and stuff. Look number eight was much more neutral. This was using the Nouveau palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the most neutral palette in my collection, probably with the exception of Limoncello from ColourPop, but this Nouveau palette, I very, very much like this palette. I'm not really a neutral girl, but there's something about these shadows and the shades that they chose and the way that everything plays together. It makes me want to wear the neutrals. It's fun to play inside this palette. It also has um, a higher end luxury feel to it because it is a more high end brand. Definitely more expensive if you pay the full retail price, which I didn't because I buy secondhand. But anyway, the quality is excellent. The shadows just, they perform nicely. You get a really classy kind of look. And I think that the colors are well chosen and interesting enough to tempt a color lover like me to actually want to wear this palette. I paired it with the Plum Smash Creme Gel Liner from ColourPop, and I also used the So Glassy um, Lip Gloss from ColourPop in the shade Local. I've decided I don't really care for the So Glassy formula. It's just too sticky. I'm actually wearing it today. By the way, totally forgot to mention, if you want to see today's eye look, it is filmed and it's linked down below in the description box. But that is one of the formulas on my lips today. I've got So Glassy and then I topped it with a lip oil because So Glassy is just kind of sticky. And even as I'm speaking, I feel like my lips are sticking together a little bit, not ideal. So I wouldn't buy that formula and I wouldn't recommend it either unless you really, really don't mind the, the thick stickiness. I like the shine, but it's not worth it when so many other things also offer good shine without being goopy. In look number nine, I used my Play It Jewel palette from ColourPop. I have customized my Play It Jewel palette where I took out a bunch of neutrals and I replaced them with the more colorful shades from the ColourPop So Very Lovely palette. So if you want to see that video, it's pretty old, but I can card it above for you where I'm customizing my Mega palette. Anyway, those are the two palettes that I used to create this eyeshadow look. You can see some of the So Very Lovely colors in this look. I'm using a new creme gel liner, which I think is called Crystal Crush. It's a lovely blue. I, I got it to replace my Big Splash once Big Splash dies, but Big Splash is more of a light almost pastel sky blue, whereas Crystal Crush is a slightly deeper, more metallic blue. It is really pretty though, and it performs like it goes on so smoothly and pigmented. It's really nice. I like it. And I'm wearing the ColourPop Lip Oil in the shade Paper Pansy. I enjoyed this look mainly because of the contrast between the cool tones of the blue and purple and then the warm tone of that sort of rose gold kind of shimmer on the lid. She might have decided to settle again, we'll see. Anyway, I really like the contrast of warm and cool tones in every color combination, but this one was kind of neat because the, the blue and purple and cool tones just work together naturally. It's something I clearly do pretty often. And then bringing in that more gold warm tone shimmer was just sort of different. And finally, in look number 10, I used the Rococo palette from Musée slash Kylove Beauty, and I paired it with the lighter pastel blue creme gel liner from ColourPop in the shade Big Splash. I liked this look a lot. I found that it was very easy to recreate the feeling of the outer packaging, which is beautiful artwork, by the way. Love the artwork. And I think the palette itself is kind of cool because you've got more cool toned colors, like light blues and pinks and purples, but then you've got more warm toned shimmers. And just... Well, look who's here. She did decide to wake up. Hi. Hi. I might end up becoming Katie Marie, <laughs> nursing while making YouTube videos about eyeshadow. We'll see. Hi. You want to say hi? They've seen pictures of you. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. 
sweet hug. <laughs> anyway, the Rococo palette reminds me a lot of the previous look where you've got um, warm and cool tones mixed together, which really make for an interesting contrast. It's not quite as expected or predicted. It's just... <laughs> She's stuck at her fingers. <laughs> I, I love just... the artwork of the palette, obviously, but the color story inside is quite interesting, too. And it's enjoyable to try to recreate some of the feeling of the outer packaging or the feeling of what that art movement really um, is representative of or what represents the art movement. It's a good time. Anyway, so those are 10 of the looks that I did while I was out. I hope you guys have enjoyed the looks. Remember that if you want me to recreate any of them, I'm happy to take subscriber requests. Just comment below what number look you want to see. Um, maybe don't ask me to recreate all of them because I, I just don't have the time for that. Plus I have so many new ideas and several new palettes to play with and uh, I don't have enough time or enough eyes to accommodate this or any of my other hobbies. Anyway, thank you so much for being with me. I know. I know. Do you want to say hi? You want to say hi? Say hi. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. Thank you so much for being with me, for clicking on my channel. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.